Okay, day four, we're using our kit again, and I'm going to be honest, I'm really worried that you are going to lose this kit and the supplies, so I really hope you have what you need for today. And after today, put things back in here and save them, and we will try to use this kit again another week in science, and I hope I could get another kit out to you at some point, and you could use these materials with even more things. I hope. Miss Bush does not know when she gets to send out materials, so I'm hoping. today. We are going to build something called an electromagnet. You are going to need a battery. You are going to need this wire, which this is an insulated wire or it's called an enamel. Do not use a plain copper wire like other plain wires that you find will not just work. We will be using today your paper clips. We will be using your compass and we will be using a nail. Whoops, dropped it on the ground. Here I go dropping things again. Do you know what? I have this nice keyboard now that's slanted at an angle. I'm at my new standing desk, but I keep thinking I can set things at the angled part of the table next to my keyboard, and I can't. Everything just falls off like you would expect it to on a slant. Anyway, this is your worksheet today. I'm just going to tell you the worksheet is not made to be complicated or hard. It is meant to let you write your ideas, and I don't just want quick sloppy. I want evidence of effort, evidence of learning. So 4.4 electromagnet, one, question one is an observation, right? Like I saw that electromagnets do this. Two, observation, another sentence, like I saw electromagnets are made out of this. And three, a drawing with labels of the materials that are used to make the electromagnet. Now, some of us have the kits, some of us don't. I can't, no magic wand here, gang. No magic wand at all. So I'm going to try hard not to give away all of the ideas, but that's really hard here with distance learning and videos. So you will need this wire. The biggest problem with electromagnets is kids get their wires all in knots. So I carefully unwind the wire. From experience, I know I'm going to need to leave some at the end. And I'm just going to tell you, we've been studying magnets, we've studied static, now we're on electricity. And there's something that connects all three. We are going to wind the wire around the nail. Do you see that? And I know to scooch it down and keep winding. If we were at school, we would do a science experiment where we would carefully count how many times we wrap it and then measure what it could do and then wrap it more and measure, wrap it more and measure, and we would keep doing that. We're not at school. No, nope. nothing's normal like it normally is. So we are just going to have a fun science experiment, and you are going to build an electromagnet today, which really means you are going to make a magnet that can turn on and off. If you've been noticing with all our work that there is electricity flowing in all kinds of things, and when there's electricity flowing, it can do cool things. It's really the same energy as a magnet. Electricity and magnets are all the same energy, just in different forms. Same as static, too. This is an electromagnet. If I had a non insulated wire, it would get really hot to the touch of my fingers. Now, here's the next few questions How do I know if it's a magnet? Well, you have something cool called a compass, and you can test your compass with your magnet and observe what happens. You also have paper clips that stick to magnets and you can see what happens. The best thing about electromagnet is you can turn it on and off. And as soon as I disconnect the wire, my magnet stops having magnetic power. Well, friends, I hope, I hope you have your own electromagnet kit here at home and I hope you're building one right now. And if you haven't started building yours yet, it's time to hit pause on this video get your supplies and build it. See what you can build, see what you can do. All right, but some of you do not have an, the science kit at home. I know, that's life, life happens. Things do not turn out exactly as we want, so don't worry. Miss Bush has you covered. Here is that wonderful website that I call FET. Oh, Miss Bush was exploring on the website. There are lots of things to explore here. This is called Faraday's Electromagnet Lab, I will save this link for you. I better copy it right now before I forget. Here this one has all kinds of things you can explore. You're really, now this 
particular one was made more for high school students and very advanced students. So we don't need all of the details that are included on this. What we need to see is that electricity and magnetism really are the same thing. It's all about those electrons that we saw moving for static. It's all about those electrons moving. In static electricity, they move kind of just when we rub things, but here they're going to move in other ways. Step one on this website, we get to check out what does a compass do with a magnet? And you can see that that red arrow on the compass is pointing to the magnet. And where this magnet moves makes this compass move. So now this website lets me check out a coil. This is just a coiled wire, which is what this is. I have a coiled wire. And for this coiled wire, there is a light bulb at top. And if I move this by a magnet, something happens. There's something about the motion of a wire going around and around in circles or coils and electricity and magnets. There's a connection between them. So you can click this tab at the top for the electromagnet. Now we have a battery and the coiled wire. And we can test it with a compass. What does a compass do? There's no magnet in my hand. It's a battery with a coiled wire. Does this behave similar to how the other magnet behaved? And then there's a few other tabs you can explore. You could absolutely have fun exploring all of these and building the electromagnet with your own kit, or you could just explore online or really just explore the electromagnet. No matter what, I need, if you're exploring online, I need a screenshot of what you built, right? I would need a screenshot of this, and then I need your answers. And everyone, we're doing the same work no matter what. Two observations, so I learned that magnetism, electricity, and static are all the same kind of energy. That's a huge thing to learn. Observation two, I learned that when you wrap a wire around and around in a coil you, and connect a battery, you can make a magnet. You can make a magnet out of a wire. Observation three, draw a picture of this. And actually, I, if you make your own, you can take a photograph. But if you don't make drawing by hand also is a great way to learn. Or you could take a screenshot from the website. Show off your great learning, everyone. I'm excited to see what you do. This is a really fun thing. Electromagnets power all kinds of things in our world and make so many things work. And they're actually fairly simple. Once you start seeing them, you might recognize them in other places. Have a good, good day.